I would say that one of the most important things you can do is you can reinvent some part of what you're doing and is the most motivating thing you can possibly do. Uh, I've been uh, talking about best and highest use and growth. One of the things that I realized uh, is uh, that um, not every business owner wants to grow. Up. And you know, that was kind of like running behind Forrest Gump across the country four times and having him say, I'm done. Well, if they all don't want to grow, what am I going to do? Well, I thought about it because I got tired of hearing uh, business owners in their 50s or with lots of money and getting a little, you know, a little fat and happy uh, saying, I don't want to grow. And me kind of saying, well, gee, that's okay. Uh, so what are you doing this weekend? You know, in other words, the conversation's over. The objection I could never counter. Well, right under my nose, right under my nose, I started to recognize that I heard over and over again business owners continually say to me, you know, Andy, I just want to get there. And I started to say to myself, that's interesting because what does get there mean? Well, guess what? I now own the trademark, get there. And I'm creating a whole new line of services for business owners who want to get there. And my blog uh, is um, advice, assistance, and attitude for business owners who want to get there. <laughs> so what I would say is, if something's feeling stale or you're feeling down, Turn it into an turn it into an accomplishment. As in, I'm going to do. I'm just going to. I'm going to do something new and different. I'm going to do something. I'm going to fire my worst customer that you, you know you don't want to have anyway. Uh, I'm going to uh, really shake it up. And the last thing I'll say, which is probably the most outrageous, is buy yourself a fancy car or book a fancy vacation. Nothing will motivate you to live up to the.